Corn, also known as maize, is a cereal grain that is widely grown throughout the world. Corn is believed to have originated in Mexico about 10,000 years ago. It is one of the most cultivated staple crops for the global food supply. The life growth stages of corn can be divided into two categories, vegetative growth stages, from V to VT, and reproductive growth stages, from R1 to R6. In general, corn is typically planted in the spring. The emergence stage or vase stage is the first stage of corn growth after planting, it is also the first stage of vegetative growth stages. The emergence stage begins when the first green shoot emerges from the soil, typically about 7 to 10 days after planting. During the emergence stage, the young corn plants are developing their first leaves and stem. The size and shape of the leaves typically have a long, narrow shape and a vibrant green color. After the emergence stage, corn enters the leaf stages or VN stages of the vegetative growth stages, which is divided into several sub-stages, from V1 to VN, N represents the number of fully developed leaves in that stage. For example, V5 is the stage that the corn plant has five fully developed leaves, Generally, a full-grown corn plant has 16 to 19 leaves although 5 leaves fall off by the time the plant tassels. Each substage lasts for about 3 to 4 days, depending on environmental conditions. During the leaf stages, corn develops roots, stem, and leaves, absorbing nutrients and water from the soil. At V5 stage, the leaves are typically longer and wider than those of the previous stage, with a length of around 12 inches and a width of 1.25 inches. The plant is preparing to form the tassel and ear. At V6 stage, the leaves are now quite large, with a length of around 14 inches and a width of 1.5 inches. The plant is beginning to form the male reproductive structure tassel and the female reproductive structure ear, which will eventually produce the seeds. The leaf stages of corn are an important indicator of the plant's growth and development. The ear continues to develop throughout the vegetative stages of the plant, with the tassel emerging around the V10 stage. The tasseling stage or VT stage is a critical phase in the growth and development of corn plants, marking the end of vegetative phase and the beginning of the reproductive phase. This stage usually occurs 50 to 60 days after planting. The tassel is a spike-like male reproductive structure of the corn plant containing male flowers, and it is responsible for producing pollen. During this stage, the tassel emerges from the top of the plant stem, shedding pollen to the surrounding air. The pollens are captured by the female reproductive structure, the ear, that is located on the lower part of the plant. The tasseling stage is a critical period for determining the yield potential of corn, as it is when the number of kernel rows and the potential number of kernels per row are established. After the tassel emerges, the reproductive stages of the corn plant begin, with the ear continuing to grow and develop until it reaches maturity during the R6 stage. The silking stage or R1 stage is a crucial growth stage that follows the tasseling stage, usually occurring about 10 to 14 days later. It is the first stage of reproductive growth stages. During this stage, the female reproductive structure of the corn plant, the ear, begins to develop its silks, which are thread-like structures that emerge from the tip of the ear. The silks are essential for pollination to occur, as they receive the pollen released from the male reproductive structure, the tassel. The pollen travels down the silk to the developing ovules, fertilizing them, and producing kernels. Each silk corresponds to one kernel on the ear, and each kernel requires a single pollen grain to fertilize it. The silking stage is essential for pollination, and any stress, such as drought or heat, can reduce pollination success, affecting yield. The blister stage or R2 stage is an important phase in the development of corn kernels, occurring about 10 to 14 days after silking, and is marked by the appearance of small, blister-like bumps on the kernels. At this stage, the kernels are still in the early stages of development, and have a watery appearance, resembling blisters. 
During the blister stage, the kernels are rapidly increasing in size and filling with starch and other nutrients, and the ear is becoming more prominent. At this stage, corn requires adequate water and nutrients to support kernel development, and any stress can reduce yield potential. The milk stage or R3 stage is a crucial growth stage in the life of corn, occurring about 18 to 22 days after silking. During this stage, the kernels are still developing, and the ear is nearly full size. The kernels are mostly white and filled with a milky fluid that contains a high percentage of starch and proteins. This stage marks the beginning of the grain filling period, where the kernels accumulate dry matter, protein, and starch. Corn requires ample moisture and nutrients to support kernel growth during this stage, and any stress can reduce yield potential. The dough stage or R4 stage is an important phase in the development of corn kernels, occurring about 24 to 28 days after silking. During this stage, the kernels continue to accumulate dry matter and become more solid, resembling dough. The kernel moisture content decreases, and the starch content increases, making the kernels denser and firmer. The plant still needs adequate moisture and nutrients to complete the grain filling process. The dent stage or R5 stage is a critical growth stage in the life of corn, occurring about 35 to 42 days after silking. During this stage, the kernels reach maximum dry weight, and the endosperm hardens as the starch in the kernel continues to accumulate, creating a dent at the crown of the kernel. The dent marks the point where the embryo detaches from the endosperm, indicating that the grain filling process is complete. The plant begins to translocate nutrients from the leaves and stalks to the kernels, resulting in yellowing and senescence of the foliage. The maturity stage or R6 stage is the final stage of reproductive growth stages and the final growth stage in the life of corn, occurring about 55 to 65 days after silking. During this stage, the plant reaches physiological maturity. The kernel has reached its maximum size and weight, and its moisture content has dropped to around 15%. The grain quality parameters such as protein, oil, and starch content are established. The plant turns brown, and the leaves start to dry out. The kernel's outer layer also dries out and becomes hard, which is a sign that it is ready for harvest. Harvesting corn typically takes place in the late summer or early fall, after the kernels have fully matured and hardened. In summary, corn goes through several distinct growth stages during its life cycle. The duration of each stage can vary depending on the variety of corn, the local climate, and other growing conditions. In general, the life of a corn plant lasts between 60 and 100 days, from planting to maturity. Understanding these growth stages is essential for optimizing yield and quality, as well as for disease and pest management. Over 1 billion tons of corn is produced worldwide each year. United States is the largest corn producer in the world. China is the second largest corn producer in the world. Brazil is the third largest corn producer in the world. Argentina, Ukraine, and India are also major corn producers. The top corn exporting countries are United States, Brazil, Argentina, Ukraine. Corn is an important source for human food, animal feed, biofuel and chemicals. A large portion of the global population consumes corn-based foods. For example, popcorn is a popular snack food, corn tortillas are a staple food in many Latin American countries, tamales are a traditional Mexican dish, cornbread is a type of bread made from cornmeal, corn chips are a popular snack food, grits are a southern-style dish, Polenta is a traditional food in Italy and other parts of Europe. Cornstarch is a fine corn powder as thickener in sauces, soups, and gravies. Corn syrup is a sweetener made from cornstarch. Corn is a good source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, and many essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Corn also contains a moderate amount of proteins, and is low in fat. 
Fresh corn is typically higher in nutrients than canned or processed corn. Corn is gluten-free, making it a good choice for people who have celiac disease or a gluten intolerance.